So shifting gears to the 2-2-2 two, two, two here. Again, there's kind of three two-man games. You know, these, this is the kind of most natural right here. You know, you'll see kind of hor uh, a vertical. You'll start to see this a lot more. And then the other way you can look at it would be would be three uh, would be two three-man games. You know, one here and one there. I think one of the, the nice things, especially at the the youth level, is it just kind of creates a lot of room for the people on the perimeter. But in terms of an initiation, you know, what we're looking for is one player to get high. It's really critical, I think, we're, that this player get to the middle. Now this uh, enables this player to, to go both ways or to potentially come off of this and use a pick. But on this, obviously kind of fundamentals but healthy reminder is these two crease guys have got to be always away from the ball. So if the ball's top left, you know, we want them bottom right. If it's here, up here, if it's down there, there, if it's there, you know, so they're at these kind of four points on the crease, creating as much space as possible, trying to lengthen that slide, right? So if we do get a slide, big thing here is whoever that was is just following it, right? About a yard or two behind him, stick up. So this follow the slide technique is something that we really want to just kind of hit home. If your man slides, you want to follow the slide. And that rule is applicable pretty much always. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then in terms of this secondary guy, I think this is where there's sometimes a challenge in terms of what do I do or where do I go? You just want to try to balance that space. And if the first player is following the slide, typically the opening space is in one of the three remaining spots, either on the front side or back side pipes, high, low. So here, here, or here. Okay, on this dodge, nice thing, obviously we have an outlet in front. We also can roll away from pressure. We've got an outlet behind. If we throw in front, we've got these inside look to the crease. If not, we've got this skip right here. If that's not open, we're banging it across. And then this is a great opportunity to re-dodge with kind of all that space. Last thing that I'll just kind of bring up of note of the 222, and this might be kind of my favorite thing to do out of it, but that is just basically more from a 2-2-2 into a 2-3-1. Basically one of those players in the crease you're vacating. Now you can either vacate up straight up to the middle or on the back side. I prefer kind of the back side. He follows, we exchange here, right? So if a slide occurs, if a slide occurs, one player is following the slide, the other player is vacating. So if he's not open, we're banging it, we're banging it, and we're getting it to this player who's vacated. So if you imagine you're this defender, you slide, right? And the on-ball player is recovering, and then he's recovering and he's gotta typically recover kind of all the way out there, unless he goes in and they bump somebody else out. And that's, a, that's a very hard recovery. If you're doing a 2-2-2 two, two, two roll-off, right? You want your best player to be this roll-off guy. Right? You don't want him initiating things. You want somebody else to kind of get the, the engine rolling such that when we can draw, slide, or get somebody's attention, move it to the backside, and then get it to our best player with a lot of space and a, and a defense that's recovering. We'll basically replicate the exact same thing for uh, one circle and, and, and kind of one, three, two. And in the one circle, the easiest way for, for me to kind of visualize things is, is two, two three-man games here. You know, one one of these triangles up top.